Welcome to Dynan and another edition of Tech Tip Tuesday. Here we have a ring and pinion gear in your differential. And basically the reason we have a ring and pinion gear is the engine turns a lot more RPM than the wheels will, so we have to have some way to slow the wheels down. But also it gives us a torque multiplication. So for example, if the engine makes 400 pound-feet of torque and we have a 3 to 1 gear ratio, this puts 1,200 pound-feet of torque at the rear wheels and makes the car accelerate faster. So a lot of times we'll get performance out of a vehicle just by changing this gear ratio. In a race car, we'll do it from track to track. So we have just the right gear ratio to barely hit the top speed we need for the straightaway that we might have. And then we go to a slower racetrack, we'll put a, a larger gear reduction in so we get faster acceleration because we don't need the same top speed. So basically how it works is you basically count the number of teeth in the pinion and you divide it into the ring gear and that's your gear ratio. Okay, so if this is 10 teeth and this is 40 teeth, then you have a four to one gear ratio reduction. If this is 10 and this is 30, it's a three to one gear ratio reduction. So basically, if you want to change our final drive from a 3.5 final drive to a 4.0 final drive, we just increase the number of teeth here and reduce the number of teeth here, and that makes the car accelerate faster. Now, the side effect is we're turning more RPM now all the time, and that, of course, adds a little bit of wear to the car from the engine standpoint and a little bit worse gas mileage. But again, these gear ratio changes are typically in the neighborhood of 5 to 10 percent. So what we're really talking about now is if your car got 20 miles a gallon, it's going to get 19. It's not a dramatic change. And if your car is going to last 200,000 miles and we make a 5 percent change, uh, it's now going to last 190,000 miles before the engine wears out. So it's not like it dramatically reduces the life of your car or your gas mileage. It just makes a small change in that direction and a little bit of a change toward faster acceleration. It's usually a pretty cost-effective way to get your car to accelerate faster without getting into your engine.